Topic 3.5, dividing, ending up with two-digit quotients. For today's lesson, what you're going to be doing is dividing a number out by a two-digit divisor, and you're going to end up with a two-digit quotient up here with maybe a remainder. We're going to be using our DMSC B over on the side. So that should help us out. Bigger numbers, but following that process should have no problems. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's say we have 413 divided by 14. I think the key for this is you just need to think of this as one block of a number there and just work your way through. 14, does it go into 4? No. Will it go into 41? Yes. So that means however many times you think it will go in, you're going to put that right above that one there. 14, that'll go into 41 two times. So we'll go ahead and check that out. Multiply 2 times the 14, we get 28. Subtract 41 minus 28. Just be careful when you're doing that. 1 minus the 8 can't do that. Go over here, borrow. That'll make that 11. So 11 minus 8, 3. 3 minus 2, 1. So you subtract it, compare. The 13 is less than 14. So we bring down the 3. And now how many times will 14 go into 133? Here's where that second number is going to come from up here in our quotient. So 14, how many times does that go into 133? Well, I know 14 times 10 is going to get me 140. And 133 is a little less than that. So let's go ahead and say 9 to give us a quotient of 29. Multiply this out. 9 times the 4 is 36. 9 times 1, 12. With when we add that 3 in there. So when we subtract this out, we have 7 left over, so our final quotient is 29, remainder 7. Let's do a couple more examples, and I recommend that you pause, rewind, whatever it takes to get this process down. Make sure you have those basic facts. It'll help out. Let's say 768 divided by 35. So how many times will 35 go into 7? None. 76? Twice. So the 2 goes above the 6. Multiply that. Get 70. Subtract. Get 6. Compare. Yes, that's less than the 35. So bring down the 8. How many times will 35 go into 68? Well, that's just going to go one time. 35, subtract, 8 minus 5, 3, 6 minus 3 is 3, so we have 21, remainder 33. Now, again, sometimes it looks a little strange to have a remainder that is larger than your quotient, your answer, but as long as this is smaller than that, you're good to go. Let's do one more before I turn you loose. 942 divided by 45. How many times does 45 go into 94? Twice. Because I know 2 times 45 is going to give me 90. Right, so then I'm going to subtract. That's going to give me 4. So 4 is less than the 45. We have something to bring down the 2. Uh-oh. I see something that's going to happen here. Pay attention. Some students are going to say, oh, we got 42, and that's less than this. So the answer must be 2 remainder 42. But it's not. You know that, right? Because you brought down... That means you have to go back up and divide. So 45 will go into 42, but it will go in zero times. So once you do that, 
then you can go ahead subtract it out then you're left with the remainder of 42. Think about it though if you would have had that for your answer 2 oops, 2 remainder 42 that does not make sense here 2 times 45 is 90 with remainder 42 it's not going to equal out to this so can you handle this? Go ahead and try these examples over here. Double check. Make sure you get this process down. It's really that, that difficult if you just keep up with your steps. DMS, C, B. Good luck on those, and I'll see you in the morning.